What's up, you guys? My name is Kells. And this is Giant 2.0, and we'll be making our Cartoon Network Battle Crashers walkthrough. This is originally on my user, on my YouTube channel, and I decided, hey, let's remake it. Oh, dude, look, there's your person. This looks serious. Good thing you guys have me and my gem powers to help you out. Alright, dude, now you can be Steven. Let's go. Alright, we're just missing Mordecai and Rigby. Uh, and after that, we should be able to get the whole team ready to take back our Cartoon Network worlds. Still waiting for you guys in the comment section to put down which of these cartoons in the game are your favorite from least to greatest. My- well, greatest to least. Enemies with shields can be annoying. Luckily, Steven can break shields easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With other characters, it'll take a long time to destroy the shields. Anyways, like I said before, in the comment section, I'm still waiting for you guys to put down your favorite Cartoon Network shows from this game, from the greatest to least. For me, number one is Finn and Jake, two, regular show, number three, Gumball, four, Steven, five, Clarence, and my least favorite is Uncle Grandpa. What about you, Kells? What, which, what shows are your favorite from one to six, since there are six shows in here? Number one you like the most, number six is that you like the least. Just yeah. Top one and yeah. Just just say your top favorites from one to six. Like I said, like I said earlier, number one, my favorite screen is Jake. Two is regular show. Three, Gumball. Four, Steven Universe. Five is Clarence. And my least favorite is Uncle Grandpa. But if you want, you can say your numbers one, one and six. Okay. So my first one is um. First one is regular show. Second one is Adventure Time. Third one is, um, is Clarence. Fourth one is Uncle Grandpa. Fifth one is um, Gumball. And six is Steven? Yep. You like Steven Universe the least? Yeah. Oh man, those fires will damage us. Luckily, Clarence can put out those fires with his soda gun, since there's water in soda, of course. Also, if the fire touches the enemy, of course they'll get damaged too, but if, when we touch them, we'll take a, a lot of damage from them. Even way more damage from their standard attacks. Also, Gumball's Wonky Talky call was when he called in Darwin the blast on the enemies with a laser beam. Let's keep exploring Beach City. There's still more crystal enemies to fight. I noticed that we started the level with Steven right next to Greg's van. I wonder where could Greg be? Could he be at the car wash or something? Maybe. And I bet the gems are doing some other crystal gem stuff. Yeah. Well, there's Lapis again! Oh, yeah, I'll let you talk to her. Alright. Here, have some extra spicy hot sauce. It'll speed up your attacks for a short amount of time. I also had a cat-shaped cookie that makes you invincible, but I lost it somewhere. Oh, thanks, Lapis. We'll try and find it. Alright, dude. Now your attacks will be faster than the speed of light for a short number of time. Oh man, more penguins. Let's take them down. More banana guards. Oh crap, these guys are stinky. Better switch to gumball. Oh, crap, stuck. now I'm stinky. Uh, let me switch to gumball and clean you and also finish you. There we go. Let's keep moving. We gotta be closer to the end, right? Yeah, we got to. And what penguins? Luckily, Fang can also do a jump attack with Jake's hammer mode. As I said, the Jake suit is like the most powerful triangle one move there is. Fang will just keep attacking and attacking. It's totally great for destroying those shields when Steven's not in. 
I gotta say though, two Cartoon Network fans who each know their characters very well. That is, that's a good team, right? You and me, dude? Oh, yeah. We each know our Cartoon Network characters very well. For one, I'm Finn, and Kels is also Jake. I'm Mordecai, and Kels is Rigby. Kels is also Clarence, Steven, and Uncle Grandpa. And I'm also Gumball Watterson. Oh, that furnace guy, that guy must be the one who's creating all the shields. Hmm. See? There's more shields all over the place. There's too many of them, dude. We need to, we need to resort to some ultimate attacks. Well, not really. We're just going with our triangle button moves. Finally, it took us forever. You know, let's get us, let's get us some gems to continue forward. Oh, there's Richard. Hey, Dad. Oh, wait. You better get a map of Beach City. You don't want to get lost in this crazy place. Go to the landfill and ask Skips if he has one. All right, Dad. Thanks. All right, we got, we made it. Let's keep moving on. Oh, the landfill is the second level in Clarence's world. All right, we'll let you guys survey the level since we've already played this one before in the last vid. Anyways, we'll, we'll tell you when we're close enough to the map. Hey there, YouTubers, we found the map, we found the location of where Skips and the map are. Jim's Auto Garage. Oh crap, it's an ambush! Oh man. Man, where could Skips be? I bet he'll come out once we take all the enemies. Man, why do all of them have a stinky stat all over them? Oh man, that guy's stinky as well. Freaking shield. Man, Gumbo's triangle button skill recharges really fast. Alright, Skips, what's up? Oh, you need a map? Or just in, or just so happens, you unlock one map to Beach City coming up. Sweet! We got the map. Thanks, Skips. Alright. Alright, let's have the viewers see the rest of this vid and we'll see you guys in the next new level.
None shall pass without a map. Oh, you got one? Have a nice trip. All right, we got the map and we made it past my dad. Ooh, Clarence and Steven reached level... Clarence made level three. He's got a jetpack and Steven made level two and he has his laser light cannon. Oh, I can see Steven has the most defense in the team. Oh, we have the robot again. Caves are extra dangerous because monsters in caves can heal themselves. Ah, oh, crap. Be sure to finish off every enemy before they start healing them. And wish we can have something like that. Crap, more stink. Oh, you can tell that they're healing because of all those blue pluses around them. Oh, what's Flame Princess doing here? Let's see what she wants. Oh, man. My bad. The dark mirrors are the worst, so you just keep spawning monsters endlessly until you destroy them. Don't worry, Flame Princess, we can destroy them. Besides, we've seen them in the first video. Great, more of them. Vacuum! Yeah. Man, the worst part about it is destroying enemies from those dark mirrors is that you won't get any gems from defeating them. I know, right? Also, if you guys uh, don't notice, uh, I'd like to make a shout out on one of my South Park the Fractured Butthole from Dustin Casabonita videos. You know in part 3 when I have to climb on up to go after Mike and Karen in the Casabonita boiler room? Well, if you see if you see a guitar case with yellow hat hatches, yeah, well, use a time flat pause and throw snap and pops at two of the split beams on the platform. Get to that guitar case and you'll get a mariachi guitar. It, it counts as an epic artifact. It increases your ally's spunk by 25%. Pretty cool, huh? So you better make sure you watch this vid so you can hear that, see this tip that I mentioned. And also subscribe to my brother's channel. You can really use the subscribers. You're letting the little boy's feelings get crushed. No. Uh, you are nothing but cruel, worthless people who won't support a little boy's dream of becoming a YouTube star. A puffer fish? Well, that's a new enemy. Yet, defeat him all, defeat him all by myself. Reason to grab that. Sumo and Jeff. I'm Jeff on Clarence. I mean, I don't play as Jeff on Clarence. We just act. We just act them out whenever we watch the show. Normally, I do it. Kells doesn't sometimes. Well, we did. We we do this all the time. We're brothers. This is the bombastic brotherhood, making YouTube vids for both of our channels. Uh, dude, you can't go down that hole unless it shows an arrow going down it. It's stupid. Yeah, I know, man, but, but hey. You shouldn't be allowed to fall down a hole. Yeah, but maybe we'll go down there next time. Who knows? Maybe we might find some cool loot down there in, in later. Crap, more shielded enemies. Mine. In the way. <laughs> 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 Nice shot with the laser light cannon. Looks like we're going down. Let's check out what's this way. Oh, walkie talkie. Mine. You're in here. Come here. Oh, got it. Ah, uh, finally. Nice job. Maybe, hopefully, we can use it on some enemies. Oh, right. Perfect timing. Uh, Alexandrite. Okay. You guys are no match for our powers. Huh. Huh. Uh, let's go open them treasure chests. I get the top one, you get the bottom one. Right. Hmm. 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 
Oh man, you already opened it quickly thanks to Clarence's power. Nice. Now let's keep moving. Maybe we can find some more gems for Uncle Grandpa and Steven. Yeah, they're running low. Oh, oh man, man. so I didn't know. I didn't know I was so close to that crate. Man, these guys are moving faster. Even if they're slipping on ice or not. Pufferfish! Oh, this portal, you need 50, 50 gems in order to get through. Luckily, we both have over 50 gems. Let's get in there. A time limit? Oh, treasure! Help me smash it open! Time for the chick suit. What the the chef's health is going back. Give me a hand. <laughs> yes, we did it. Let's grab all the let's grab all the gems we can carry and get out of here. Hey, this is Fan Jake's treehouse. Also, here we are back in the second level, which is the crystal caves. Wait, I know this is a setting in Steven Universe, but I just don't know which episode it is it's in. Oh wait, I know. It's it's in that episode um, uh, when Stephen got the when Stephen and the centipede were getting along. Well, before Stephen healed the centipede. Uh, oh wait a second, you wait a second, centipede. You guys don't salute like that. You salute like this. Man, it's much more easier when Peridot did it. Yeah, like this! <laughs> Made the diamond! Oh, not exactly, but still, practice makes perfect, people, right? Uh -huh. Hey, Kells, you try and do it. Yeah, dude, you get, you're getting it. Nice! <laughs> oh, that's Gumball's circle button move. Pressing the circle button will let him jump really high with ninja like agility. I can't wait to see what other abilities these characters will have with the circle button. Oh, yeah. Besides, we we're almost to the end. Oh, yeah, we are at the end. Smash that chest and let's grab ourselves some gems. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I Finn and Jake leveled up. They reached level 3, the Rowdy Paladin. Ooh, a circle button move. Let's see what Finn and Jake's circle button move is in the boss battle. Let's see who we're taking on in this boss. Crystal Fry Boy. Oh man. The mascot of City of Beach City Fries. Let's see like a taste of the hammer. Oh, don't want to land on you. He'll stun you, and stalactites will fall on you and hurt you. Oh, Dang it, you got me. You got me too. Ah, the enemy freaking enemy. Jake suit. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's right. Blast him with the laser light cannon. All right, I gotta see what Finn Jake can do with the circle button now. Oh, check it out, Jake. You you changed from a hammer to a boomerang. Freaking a, dude. Now I now I can attack enemies from a distance. I mean, we can attack enemies from a distance. Also, if I remember correctly, if you press circle the third time, Jake will. Okay, sorry about. Okay, sorry about that. What I meant to say is, if you press circle the third time, Jake will go into Finn's backpack, and when you press square, he'll grab enemies and pull them straight to Finn, also dealing damage. Oh no, Steven, you okay? Fine. Come on, gotta keep throwing boomerangs at him. <laughs> Jake suit, baby. Also, if you change characters or press the circle button again, Finn will go back to the hammer. Ah, uh, stupid girl, lady. Wait. The one hit. Got him! Alright, let's grab the chests and take the loot. Hope you guys like this vid. This is Jara 2.0. Saying, please like this video, subscribe to our channels, and also have yourself a righteous day. And player two's got the crown. Peace! Peace out.